Hey guys, it's Abby and Daisy here, and I'm just tacking her up um, for our jump around. I am just hoping that this goes well. I typically start with the boots whenever I'm tacking up um, my jumper horse, uh, Ray, because the first, the, whenever she starts to see the saddle, she just gets so excited because she just loves to jump and she knows that we normally jump. That's why I have the boots on first. This is gonna sound really, really, not mean, but kind of, kind of like that kind of mean, but like, I feel like this, um, like the jumper, like hunters to jumpers, I think it's probably going to be the hardest on me, honestly, because my jumper, Ray, she is very excited for jumping, um, and she's one of those horses that I really have to work on, like, holding her back and just kind of working on striding, because she will go as fast as she can, and she'll just we a lot of times chip in we take a lot of long spots whenever we're jumping because she just gets so excited she just wants to jump well daisy here on the other side she's a hunter for a reason she she still she's she still loves jumping she loves to jump especially on some days when she's getting more energized but she's definitely a hunter horse you can i feel like you can even tell by the way she walks that she's a hunter because she always takes her time and something that makes me really funny she always gets really frustrated whenever she knocks a pole whenever we're um, just having a lesson and we knock over a pole somehow um it's normally my fault but she always like does a little bug she always like kicks out or she always just gets mad at herself for doing it so hopefully we don't knock a pole today um i feel like i have a little pressure because riley and stephanie both placed and riley i get because i mean um athena jumps a lot she's a jumper sometimes but wonder like i don't think he's ever really done the jumpers so hopefully i can place too but of course i'm gonna be proud of miss daisy here no matter what so yeah yeah but anyways talking about like pressure and stuff i feel like because normally when i'm like in the jumpers so like yeah normally when i'm like jumping jumping like show jumping jumping like when i'm practicing like that or even at a show or whatever with ray i really have to like kind of I use my hands more than I use my legs because the slightest legs and she'll just go she'll just take off um but Daisy um, I mainly have to use my legs and not as much my hands I have to be very gentle with my hands whenever we're jumping um so hopefully I can get this right hopefully I won't hopefully won't break into the trot because that will be very very bad but I'm gonna just go ahead and finish tacking her up after this rant okay so we're all tacked up and I'm gonna go warm her up and then we're gonna go outside and wait for our turn okay guys so we are currently just waiting outside of the ring for our turn and um yeah we're all done with the warm-up and everything so during the warm-up so the warm-up we're gonna talk about that um so like i said i was gonna try to do i was trying to kind of get her to speed up kind of to kind of inform her that i wanted to keep going kind of speed up because this is jumpers um and she did not take that well honestly she got mad at me and she did start bucking a little bit but we got her we got her done. Um, I think that she's a little bit more energized now. Now I'm just hoping that we can not knock over any poles because I know that if we start knocking down poles, then she's going to get mad and we'll start bugging again. But hopefully we can at least place. Um, of course, I'm proud of her anyway. But, you know, I think this is definitely going to be the hardest for us because she is 100% a hunter horse, not a jumper at all. She doesn't like to cut corners. She gets mad whenever I, I cut corners myself as a rider. Um, hopefully this goes well. I, I don't know how this is going to go, honestly. But I will see you guys afterward. Okay guys, so we just finished our round and I am actually very happy with it. Um, there were a few things she did refuse at the first water jump. There was just a plan on water jump with a few hurdles over it. Um, and she just refused it because first of all, it was a water jump and she doesn't, she doesn't really see water jumps that often. Um, and also, um, like leading up to the water jump, the jump before, it was like a really sharp turn towards the jump, like the water jump. It was a really, okay, hold on. It was a really sharp turn to go to the water jump, so we didn't get a good line in. Um, so 
we didn't go in straight, so she did not like how sharp that turn was. Um, and then also, it was also water, so that just added on to it. So she did refuse it, but then we went around and she jumped it, luckily. So it was very good. That's pretty much it. Everything else she did, she took very well. Um, that was kind of the main sharp turn that I was kind of worried about when I was kind of learning the course, but she did really, really good. I'm super happy with that round. Hopefully we place good enough. Um, but yeah. Okay guys, so we just got the awards back and we did place, we got a ribbon. Um, we got fifth. I'm absolutely so proud of her. Um, I mean, one refusal, honestly, that's not that bad, honestly. So I'm so proud of her um, for doing this because like I said, like I had that whole rant about before, she is not a jumper at all. She's not gonna like going fast. She's not like the sharp turns. She's not a jumper. She just does not like that type of riding. Um, she's definitely more pretty, and as you can tell, um, I'm so proud of her, though. Um, so, we're gonna go back, and I'm glad we placed, so I'm so proud of her. Hey, guys, it's me, Macy, here. Um, I'm officially the last of the bunch to go, um, in a round today, because all the other girls, they've all, um, finished all their jumpers rounds, as you guys have already been shown. Um, and Allison and Jill have had a few hunter rounds, um, with their own horses today. So I'm officially the last one to go. I actually do have a lot of faith that um, me and Emerald will at least place. Um, I feel a lot of pressure just like Abby did because everyone else has placed. So I'm really hoping that we can place too, at least like a seventh place ribbon or something. But, you know, maybe even a first place ribbon, you never know. Emerald is an incredible hunter. She's insane at hunter. She corrects me a lot because I'm one of those people that just cut corners like crazy. So... She does a lot um, of the time, do a lot of the work in the Hunters, so now it's my turn to help her cut the ghost corners. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll do really good today. We have our matching red on, because red's my favorite color, so we're going to go ahead, head out, and I'm going to warm up and learn the course. So yeah, and actually the last to go in my class, so I'm going to go and then we'll just do awards and then we'll be done, so you know. I'm actually kind of nervous now. We'll be good. Okay, we're gonna go out and warm up. Okay, guys, so I'm on Emerald now, and yeah, I'm just kind of learning the course. Um, she's all warmed up, and she's feeling really good today. Hopefully, we can place like everyone else did. This course is in a different arena as Abby's was, but it is actually the same course, but like backwards. So it has all the like all the jumps in like the same places, but um, the actual order is just com the complete opposite, it's just backwards. Um, and it's in a different arena, like I said. But yeah, so I got a lot of waiting to do because a lot of people just went, but I'm still a little bit early because I'm the last one to go. So hopefully I can go next, um, soon and hopefully I can place, yeah. Okay guys, so as you guys just saw, we just competed and we got fourth place. I'm so proud of Emerald. Um, she did so good. She's actually such a good jumper. I think as hopefully you could probably see in the GoPro, but she's just such, just a natural born, she's such a good jumper. She does do better than the Hunters, but she's just a natural born jumper. Like she's just so good at jumping altogether. Like she's just so good at the courses, keeping herself together. She's really good at seeing distances somehow. Like she, we always get distances perfect. Um, except this round, because of the jumper, um, we did, um, at the last line, um, we did get the first, the first jump at the last line, um, was a long, bit of a long spot for us, um, so that kind of messed up the inside of the two stride, but we did pretty good, we got fourth, I'm super happy with her, um, and yeah, I'm super proud of her, definitely, definitely very love, um, for Emerald, I love Emerald so much. Anyways, you guys, I'm super happy with how Emerald did. Um, and Stephanie did ask me to outro the video, so I'm gonna do it right now. Um, of course, I'm gonna go and tag her and then graze her afterward. But um, yeah, so I hope you all liked watching us all compete our hunters and the jumpers. I hope it was fun for you guys. Um, and maybe next time, I think Stephanie was talking to us about doing um, like entering our jumpers into the hunters. So maybe we'll do that. Um, this summer, some um, in our next jumper show. We'll probably end up doing it, but uh, yeah, so please remember to like and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in our next video.